Well, I mean, you know, this is a, a different type of an assemblage that we've been, we've been looking at earlier today. You know, we're, we're looking at the epithermal, classic epithermal style vein materials up higher. Now we're down into these uh, more calc silicate zones with the stringers of bornite and higher some temperature. Higher, much, yeah, it looks like a much higher temperature assemblages with magnetite. And you've got these nice zones of gold that are grown with the bornite. So this is exactly where you'd expect to see those types of things down here. Well, and you start yeah. thinking about things like PGE enrichments when you get down in these environments and these alkalic systems, the deeper calc potassic zones where you see the calc silicates, maybe some garnet like we're seeing a little bit higher in this way. This is all music to our ears because uh, this is a hole that we re-entered that was drilled short of the 500 zone uh, prior to the discovery of the 500 zone. Since we've understood where that 500 zone is, we've gone and re-entered this hole and pushed it through that horizon. And we've been waiting for at least a week to see something that would uh, give us a reason to keep going. And today, this core just came up this morning and it's just uh, got a lot of golden bornite uh, in, in a higher temperature assemblage, uh, what may have been a higher temperature assemblage, perhaps with lower temperature overprint, but uh, this is fantastic. Yet another is, uh, dimension to an exciting story. This absolutely. is exciting. Yeah. yeah. Start, you know, this is a di different world in this environment that we've been looking at, so really cool. Yeah, congratulations on that. That's, your That's exciting. Thank you, and thanks to these guys. They're the ones who uh, do all the, all the heavy lifting on this. That was more than 30 seconds. <laughs>